The Polytechnic of Namibia is currently in the process of transforming itself into Namibia's University of Science and Technology, the Center of Open and Lifelong Learning or CAL at the Polytechnic serves the educational needs of students who cannot always attend classes due to full-time employment, family obligations or are from rural areas through decentralized support services offered at regional educational centers. CAL offers uh, distance education programs for the institution and recently it's embarked on offering online courses and online programs. CAL has been offering the e-learning course for online course developers and online tutors to tertiary education lecturers in Namibia for the last three years. Although the course is going to develop the skills of lecturers to teach online, its ultimate objective is to meet the needs of distance education students of the Polytechnic. For working professionals need to constantly improve their qualifications, but they can't leave their work and come and study full time. They need to be able to have an environment where they're able to continue their education in a flexible manner. This two month long course provides the lecturers with both the experience of being an online learner as well as the skills to develop and tutor online courses. It's a blend of pedagogy, technology, it's about developing your course, it's about tutoring and supporting your students because both aspects are needed to develop a good quality online course. The course starts with a face-to-face -face workshop during the first week. At this stage, students are already locked in as they are introduced to the model of course development. This is where now we focus on the, the learning theories, the theories that you need to know uh, to understand how students learn, how to facilitate learning. Blogging or the discussion forum is also introduced at this stage. Is there are three video clips about Facebook, about social networking in general and Twitter where educators are talking about the value it places in education because a lot of tertiary institutions are blocking these tools but we are actually blocking a huge resource and we need to train students on how to blog correctly because today we are you leave a digital footprint. The way I've built this particular activity is they, look, they watch these videos and then they actually have to take part in a debate about whether you should use social networking or so and the debate is built into a wiki so they use a wiki to actually identify to come up with the points that they have put together and this is a, an example of a collaborative learning uh, activity. The course utilizes an open learning management system called Moodle. Once you have logged into the system you see six icons representing different aspects of the course. The first one is course information. It gives you all the information about the course, what is expected, the assessments and uh, uh, how you would uh, take part in the learning activities. All the general information is there. Under announcements you will be provided with all the due dates of tasks and assignments that you are supposed to perform. Clicking the e-resources icon connects you directly to the library and through this uh, you are able to search for the information that you, that you need and then we have the weekly activities now one of the models that we follow is that we pace the learning uh, whether you are a, uh, you're a lecturer who's doing a training course or a student who is doing a polytechnic course you need to be guided and we found that without guidance you can pretty much easily get lost in the uh, in an online setup through this e-learning course, blogging has been turned into a collaborative educational experience. These are the different blogs that uh, we used in the course. So for instance here, I would ask them, okay, what, what was your experience today? In, in this particular blog, they have to do role plays in the discussion. They have to take the role of a tutor, start a discussion, moderate the discussion, provide feedback to the students, uh, to their uh, fellow peers and here you can see the feedback and this feedback is open to each other they share the information and what is nice about setting up a blog like this is you actually create a summary of what they have learned but it is generated by them it's not you as a trainer who provides the summary the lecturers who have successfully completed the e-learning course for online course developers and online tutors are now developing and teaching online courses at the Polytechnic. So I see the university is trying by all means
to provide opportunities not only for students but for lecturers as well uh, to use technologies and enhance uh, their teaching and learning and that's how I got to grab the opportunity. They are looking back at this experience with pride and appreciation. Um, developing the course on e-learning was not as easy but it was very much rewarding. My biggest benefit that I've gained from that was the fact that I've actually seen all the challenges that I as a student um, experienced and then I could also try to um, resolve some of those challenges. In the first place I felt I've accomplished something. You know, just to get that feel that I have developed an online course. And basically, I don't have an IT background. It's not a training course which just focuses on training. It is built into a course development model where the lecturer works with content editors, instructional designers, uh, uh, quality controller, language editor. So the lecturer works with the team who actually s uh, supports the lecturer and helps to develop the course which fosters collaborative learning. The lecturers are transferring the collaborative learning element of this course to their students. Especially in terms of participation, you would find that sometimes some would, uh, would uh, stray away and then you have to call them, use the phone sometimes and email them to keep on encouraging them to participate. So we, what we have seen is that once a student finishes an online course, he or she comes back to do another online course. So we're slowly seeing that students find the value in this form of, uh, of delivery. E-learning is now on its way to become well entrenched as another tool with which the Polytechnic and Namibia is preparing itself to meet the challenges of educating the nation. To emphasize its commitment to e-learning, Namibia hosted the very successful e-learning Africa 2013 conference during May 2013.